More than 10 years in space and having covered 14.6 billion miles, Voyager 1 is indeed one of the toughest guys out in space. From sending useful data back to Earth to making shocking discoveries, Voyager 1 has done it all. But recently, the signals from the Voyager, which is now out of our solar system, got disrupted and everyone in NASA got pretty scared. And wouldn't they be? After all, it's been out in space for more than a decade. So, was there any interference from aliens? And how did NASA recover it? When it was launched first on the 5th of September, 1977, nobody knew it was going to last that long. Voyager 1 left our solar system and entered interstellar space in the year 2012, and since then it has been working to send information back home. The images sent by the Voyager have been used by many school books, and it was the first one to cross Saturn and Jupiter. It's a car-sized probe with a 12-foot antenna mounted on its top. It was made to visit the planets in our solar system, and it did, but it continued its mission outside the solar system as well. The Voyagers run on the nuclear-powered systems called the RTGS, aka Radioisotope Thermoelectric Generators, which are keeping the Voyagers alive. But how did we know that they have crossed the solar system? Back in the year 2000, the Voyagers entered the termination shock, where due to increased pressure from the gas and the magnetic field, the solar wind particles are slowed down beyond the speed of sound. So that's how we know that they are no longer in the solar system, but in the year 2010, the Voyagers branched the heliopause, which is the boundary between the interstellar space and the solar system. You'll be surprised to know that the Voyager also has a golden record inside it, which contains photos, nature sounds, and packed music. Any guesses why? Well, the Voyagers might reach an alien planet one day, and when it does, NASA wants them to know that we exist. But Voyager has a system which keeps its high-end antenna pointed towards the Earth. This lets Voyager 1 send information home. This system is also known as AACS. Now the scientists know that the Voyager was completely fine as it was sending signals back home with the same strength and steadiness. So, what must have been the problem? Well, to their surprise, the AACS had started using the computer which died years ago to transmit the signals. So this dead computer started to corrupt all the data Voyager 1 was sending home. Pretty weird, right? Because what must have made the double ACS to use the dead computer? But there are other things more important than finding out the root cause. So the team of NASA experts sent the command to double ACS to use the correct computer to send the data home. But did you know that it takes around 22 hours for one signal to be transmitted to the Voyager 1, which is 14.6 billion miles away, and still getting further away? According to NASA, the AACS must have received a command from another computer to use the dead computer. But despite it, the faulty protection system on the Voyager wasn't triggered, which usually allows only essential operations to be carried out. And puts the Voyager 1 into the safe mode. As a result, scientists can get enough time on their hands to diagnose the problem. Now, this is what the project manager of Voyage, Suzanne, had to say about it. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We are also in interstellar space, a high-radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. So there are some big challenges for the engineering team. But I think if there's a way to solve this issue with the AACS, our team will find it. But nevertheless, NASA was successful in reviving the Voyager 1 back, but it took more than four months. Now coming back to Voyager 1, it's perfectly fine now, but we don't know for how long it will survive. And here's why. The sun's magnetic field protects the electronics from the cosmic rays and other radiations. The cosmic rays have high-energy particles, and when these interact with any electrical device, it corrupts its memory over the passage of time. Since the Voyager 1 is far away from the sun's magnetic field, voyaging at a distance of 23.4 billion kilometers from Earth, there's no guarantee for how long it can carry on to make new discoveries. But it survived till now, and it will surely survive for more years to come. We don't know what other dangers it has to face in the future, but 
We've got this. This brings us to the end of the video, but don't be sad as I'll be back with another amazing video soon. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon button so that you don't miss any update from my channel. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up as a little action from you can help our channel grow tremendously. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.